Hey guys, Brittles here, and welcome to a Sims 3 tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering Constraint Floor Elevation False, which is a cheat that I use a lot when building in The Sims 3. I'm going to be covering three main questions. What is it? How do you use it? And why should you use it? So, let's go ahead and get started. Now what exactly is Constraint Floor Elevation False? Well, it's a cheat that allows you to control the height of the individual walls and floors within your house, allowing you to have greater control of the actual size of the walls, whether you want to lower them down, or whether you want to raise the height of the wall up. So how do you use Constraint Floor Elevation False? Well, in its principle, it's quite simple. You simply draw out the floor plan that you want, Throw some tiles on top, obviously, put in the cheat to start with, constrain floor, elevation false, and then use stairs to lower them down one level at a time. Usually I lower my walls down three levels. Once you're done, simply get rid of your steps and you're good to go. When using this cheat, you may notice that you get these strange little floating triangles in the air. Those are from the intersections between the walls. Getting rid of these is simple. You simply delete the wall piece, hit Ctrl Z or undo, and there you have it. All gone. If you decide to add in extra walls once you've already built the structure, you can end up with these strange sort of jaggedy, high, pointy little walls that come up on the build. This is a simple fix. You simply get the terrain level tool, drag it across the affected area, and it's all fixed. If you use CFE properly, you can end up with some structures that would not otherwise be possible without this cheat. And, if you add in a bit of decorating, you can turn in a little box like this into some seriously cool little structures, just with a little bit of work. So, why exactly should you use CFE? Well, that's very simple. It creates houses that just otherwise would not be possible. As you can see in front of you, it can help make some amazing houses, and they just would not be possible without this very useful and really quite easy to use cheat called Constrain Floor Elevation False. So there you have it. That wraps up this tutorial on Constrain Floor Elevation False. I hope this has been helpful to you and that it has helped you understand this very useful cheat much better and hopefully you can use it in some of your builds too. So until next time, I'm Brados and happy building.